to be more confident. Did you know, confidence is the key to our success and our way to move forward with the opportunities we have. Do you know why? It's because confidence helps us overcome obstacles and pursue and use the skills we have to succeed. Confidence is an important aspect of life and can be a source of strength in difficult times. It makes people feel good about themselves and helps them achieve their goals. Confidence is not something that you can just have. You need to learn how to be confident by building your self-esteem and developing your skills. To develop more confidence, you must first look at what you have achieved so far. Then, never forget the things that you are good at. Everyone has weaknesses and strengths, so focus on your strengths, set up some goals, and get a hobby as well. Give yourself a pep talk to boost your confidence. Always try to express your voice, feelings, and thoughts. Be who you are and say what you feel, because those who mind don't matter, and those who matter don't mind. As Bernard M. Baruch said, while confidence is important, it is also essential not to become overconfident. When we become overconfident, we do not acknowledge the criticisms. It causes us to lose objective perspective about our abilities and knowledge. This can create unrealistic expectations towards us and makes us more vulnerable to disappointment. Being confident doesn't always mean being cocky or arrogant. It just means that you believe in yourself and what you do. You should be able to see good things about yourself and not bad things that others may say about you. I also became an unconfident person. In my 7th grade, we have a SIP, or Science Investigatory Project. It's a group research and experiment. We need to brainstorm what kind of topic we will discuss on stage. My groupmates chose my topic because they didn't come up with any ideas for their own topic. When it's our turn to go on stage, I suddenly feel nervous because all of the students and teachers are looking at us. I started talking but my voice was stuttering because of nervousness and lack of confidence. While well, my group meets just hid behind me and never helped me answer the questions that needed to be answered, I panicked because I heard the other students are laughing at us. After that, my group meets even blamed me because I couldn't talk properly. When I went home, I felt very ashamed and pressured by what had happened. I can't even erase the memory of that day. I cried and cried because in my mind I would be a laughing stock at our school. But then, my mom opened the door and asked what happened. I told her everything. She told me that it was normal to make mistakes because everyone makes mistakes in life. She also told me to become more confident, accept all my failures, and try and try again until I succeeded. When I learned that we had a defense to make, I put all my faith, courage, and confidence to it. Even though I felt very pressured and troubled by what had happened, I didn't still care because I knew what I would do and say about the topic I made. After the defense, I felt very relieved and overjoyed because I succeeded defending our research. Now, I chose this as my informative speech because it reflects on myself and I want to tell everyone that confidence is important in our lives and our and our key to success. If you fail, then keep trying. Don't stop until you succeed. Thank you for listening.